Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade this Dell Inspiron 7415 14-inch 2-in-1 laptop. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe down below and thank you for watching. All right, so let's really quickly talk about this laptop. This is the 2021 Dell Inspiron 7415 14-inch 2-in-1. This is the base model that only came with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabyte SSD drive. And don't forget that really nice processor, the Ryzen 5 5500U. So the good news is, yes indeed, you could upgrade both the RAM and the hard drive and that's what I'm going to show you in this video but first let's quickly talk about the pricing and what you could expect to pay for this upgrade so what I have here is two sticks of eight totaling for 16 these are two modulars uh, which uh, run at 3200 megahertz now these are the standard ones not the low profile one uh, low power ones. so it's very important to note that and these are actually more powerful than the low power ones, especially for gaming it, it's uh, it's been proven on the benchmarks and these were only 58 bucks brand new on eBay and I'm sure you can find them right now as of what we are in the middle of July or so so that's about that okay next is the hard drive i'm going to be using this intel 6 ssd nvme which i picked up at the local micro center for only 75 bucks uh the speed is pretty decent on it this was the cheapest one terabyte available and uh, i believe the speed is 1800 read and 1800 write so uh more than enough for something like this and again for 75 bucks it's a damn good deal so we're actually using brand new parts uh, on this and of course I did research on eBay my usual place to see if I could find these used and they were actually about the same price so it doesn't make sense to get them used uh, so I definitely suggest to get these parts new but it really depends on your market and of course the one last thing you're gonna need is a screwdriver like this and everyone that's gonna upgrade a laptop should always have a screw set like this with all these little bits here and it's just a standard Phillips size but of course a thinner one okay so now we're just gonna jump right in and take a look inside I'm gonna show you how to take this thing apart and uh, don't forget to turn it off first of course make sure it's turned off completely so stay tuned for that all right, so now we have the laptop turned off and flipped upside down. I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew these bunch of screws here. So we have four over here on the on the bottom half. Uh, these are the shorter ones. Go ahead, use your Phillips, and just go ahead and unscrew them. These are already loose. Make it quicker. There you go. Okay. All right. And now, these top three, this is the important part. These are the longer screws, but they won't actually come out all the way because they're held by a little O-ring on the, on the other side. Uh, that way I guess they don't get lost or you make a mistake putting the longer ones on the bottom and that's I think it's a very good idea and also this is where it actually gives you access to go ahead and open this back part which I think is very cool so when you open these three screws on top you'll start hearing a pop the release from the back and that's how you'll go ahead and you don't even need a prying tool for this laptop. That's why I love it. It's so easy. Nothing else but a screwdriver. And you'll hear it pop and you'll get a really nice gap here. And of course, there's a very crucial moment here. So please do take your time and just pop them slowly. Small area at a time until you get this thing off. that's it and it'll come right off nice and easy remember you don't want to crack this that'll be a waste go ahead put that to the side 
All right, let's take a look what we got here. So this is the RAM area here. Uh, I actually already put the new RAM in, and this is what it'll look like. Uh, on the right side, you'll see that the sticker is facing up. And just like all the other uh, laptops out there f for over 20 years, it's the same system. You got these two little pins here. They just, you, you use both of your fingers to go ahead and release them. And it comes right out real smooth. And this is how you put it back. Nice and easy, press it down. You hear that click and the first RAM stick is in. And on the left side, you have the same setup. But as you notice that it is upside down, the sticker facing down. Same thing, you pull these two little brackets and it pops open and you slide it out, you see that. So that's something to remember. You do one at a time, you switch one RAM at a time, that way you don't make a mistake and force it in the wrong direction. Even though you could see the teeth lined up right there, but just to be safe, you just change one RAM at a time so you don't make a mistake. Okay, there it is, and that's the RAM. That's the easy part with this area here You got to do a little work because of the bracket it has to be adjusted now. Why? Of course with this mini SSD this small form factor one um, You could buy one terabyte same size and it'll be really easy one two three, but it'll cost you more money these mini ones are actually more expensive probably will be double the price of the standard size one so that's something to think about but in this video I'm gonna show you and show you how the bracket removes so you go ahead and just take this out now I already start messing around with this there's these little sticker thingies here now I, I personally gonna just take them off they're in your way right there and anyways when you start removing them they're gonna start like ripping up a little bit so I kind of clear this area open here and this here was designed to be able to pop open and relocate it to the top and that's what we're gonna do um, you may want to use a little flathead screwdriver instead so you could change this to a flat bit and once this area is cleared you just want to push this down to the right and loosen this area up a little bit you see how there are these two notches oh yeah let me let me zoom in a little bit more on that actually right there yeah that's the only pain but it's designed that way that you could actually adjust this bracket so we're just gonna loosen this top part you pull down one one of them down and then on the left let's put this back in that's it opa it comes right out okay and now you move it to the top and you see how where the notch is this is where you're gonna put that screw to hold it back in and if you get confused where it should be you take the new SSD drive place it down and you see that the notch is gonna be where the screw goes is face it up so you go ahead and take that off now and place it like this and just shimmy it in there again you could use this tool here a thin flat head I could just jiggle it right in right there Whoop. come on this part I'm not sure why they did it like that but they could have just had two two of the notches maybe I don't know Tricky here. Kind of gonna get them all at the same time and push it. There it is. Oof, finally. So what happens is you'll see the notches will fit go into the holes and it'll click right in, and there it is. Now you're all poised for the position of the new SSD drive. There you go. As you can see, sticker is facing down. 
you got the notch on the top right here go ahead and click it in you hear it snap gently put push it down to line up with the bracket and this little screw hole right there and go ahead and tighten it up and voila we are done nice and gentle don't overturn just as soon as it doesn't turn anymore that's it leave it like that it's better to do that and here you have it the upgrade is complete and now we just go ahead and put this back in start off with the top ones nice and easy feel it once it starts grabbing like that and we are all set and now one last thing if you want to make some of your money back maybe you could sell this or even let me zoom back out it's same thing with the RAM you know I mean you might get some money back for this you got the RAM and you got the little SSD drive and you could recoup some of your money for this upgrade or you could use it for another uh, build so yeah that's it for the this laptop upgrade uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye